What's up everybody, it's Conger Live. We're back again with another DC Worlds Collide video. Today's video, we're going to be going and doing some more of the digital universe. We're meaning to get around to sharing this with you guys. I think today's a good day to do it. If you're new to the channel, Ninja kick that like button and subscribe for more content. Let's go get into it. Okay, from the main screen we go to the Adventure Earth and Digital Universe. And here we are at section, I don't know my Greek letters, N, Enya, Not, Nate. I'm not sure what the uh, Greek letters are. I should have looked that up before starting recording. But here we go, we got 15 chests. Currently in section, this is you challenge one instance, I, you proceed, ongoing, so we close, continue, confirm. Yes, I only went in there to get the uh the screenshot for last time so here we don't know what the path is like we'll find out the end looks close but we're probably gonna have to do a lot of winding off to the sides batman i don't think our algorithmic power can make to the portal there must be ways to fill up algorithmic power up ahead keep your guard up we must watch out for any change in algorithmic power cats hate math you should bring batgirl next time okay so the algorithmic power that's this uh Hash rate, hacking a new block in the universe consumes algorithmic power. Continuing to hack new blocks after algorithmic power is exhausted causes a degree of damage. So it basically takes away 10% what I understand, of your max starting rate and that's permanent. So you wanna make sure that you don't take away too much because it definitely increases how hard things get. So we have the market advanced algorithm, tank characters increases reflect, support characters at the end of turn detonates all enemies, doing power damage equals 100% of attack. Uh, we can buy some hash rate for four a bunch of times. So 14 for these buffs may not be able to save up enough to do that because we're constantly going to be having to buy the hash rate, it looks like. So there's one down, and we got the first fight, and then after we beat this, we will use it all up. So hopefully we'll earn two and be able to buy more. Okay, it's been a while since I've done one of these, so I've got a bunch of characters uh, that I didn't have before this okay we want him to go first so throw it something like this generally I like him eh, maybe something like this man we'll see it's gonna be easy so we've got double power so it's gonna be easy at first so we're gonna make real quick work of this not sure if there's gonna be a chance to revive in this um, digital universe. So I definitely want to do everything I can to make sure I keep my characters up, especially the ones I like to use the most, which is what I got going on right now. Um, really wish I had a better tank. Um, right now, the only tanks I have. So here, I'm kind of doomed. I have to move forward. You use your hash rate hacking again, we'll deduct the cancel. Oh, I do have it. So now I want to click market and I want to buy some hash rate and see if we can't get through this with only buying hash rate if we absolutely have to to hopefully get one of those buffs either for the tanks or for the supports. Um, I only use one tank and one support, so I'm not sure how that's going to go. Let me just double check my ult. Yeah, that's fine. Green arrows are amazing. Action bar completely filled up there. From green arrow, because he got the kill. Really, really nice. Yeah, we got our first algorithm tank character upon using the ultimate received two energy in return. Oh, that's basically like free ultimate for some tanks. Support character using one ultimate received two energy in return. Um, I'm gonna go grab the tank one because I, as things get more difficult, I'm going to be wanting to use my tank character's ult first um, because he's going to help me stay alive. And so I'm actually going to go ahead and do that now just because it's going to give me the energy I need to 
to then hopefully alt again almost immediately. Now because I've waited so long to do this, it definitely seems easy at first, but I guarantee it does get challenging further on. Um, I remember the last time I made one of these, it got pretty challenging near the end, but I was able to squeeze it out my first go. Um, it would really kind of be a bummer to make your video and have to start over. Um, but, you know, this is my first go at this. And I am by no means an expert. Okay, so we got to go to the market and we got to buy a hash rate again. But we're slowly earning some hash rate. It looks like we got this giant spiral to get to where we all want to go. See, it's starting to get medium difficulty, and I'm sure it will be hard by the time we get to the end. Um, but yeah, we're, we've got a good setup. We're just going to keep rocking and rolling. If I had Lex Luthor unlocked, my goodness, with the tank algorithm, way better than uh, Mr. Freeze, but Mr. Freeze does a really good job with that uh, solidify, whatever that's called. Once again, quick work of these ruffians. Gotta pay attention to my hash rate. Okay, this time tank increased life steal, support increased life steal by 100%. I'm gonna give it to the support character because if for some reason um, my tank character, he, he doesn't do a lot of attacks where um, my support is Raven primarily right now. And with Raven, uh, when she revives someone, it's based on her own hit points. So if she can get some life steal to keep her hit points high, um, that's gonna really help. when I bring the enemies, or bring my allies back to life. Hopefully I don't have to deal with that, or the stress of that. Uh, maybe near the end I will, and I might have to restart a couple battles when I get there. Sometimes RNG is definitely a factor. Didn't quite eliminate them. But that's okay. There we go. My green arrow was a higher rank, which he used to be, but I reset him for... Okay, we got to go to the market and buy some more hash rate. Doesn't look difficult. We got some poisoners, you know, triple stacks of poison right off the bat. No fun. You know, maybe probably should have still started with green arrows, all so we could wipe through these a lot faster, and then have Mr. Freeze do his reset on the second round. Giving Wonder Woman the chance to go then. I think the timing is going to be about the same. Maybe a little bit quicker if I had Green Arrow going first. Attack behind the support at the end of turn. Lightning strikes. Yeah, we like lightning striking. It's really cool. So it looks like we're going to spiral all the way around until we get there. Try it out. This might give us a, a little bit quicker, but as things do get more challenging, a couple reasons why it'd be quicker is number one, he's probably going to drop that Starfire on the left. Ooh, not quite. We've got the extra move. If she had fallen. Okay, we out of hash rate. 
So here's where we have 14. We could buy, but I, I think we want to wait. We want to hold out. We want to buy their hash rate first. Maybe get to the point where we can maintain our health, the hash rate health, and also buy that at the same time. consider also is switching to my mirror. I only have the Batmobile in the mirror right now, which is another reason why I want to get through these things. I um, want to unlock that tiger and then all hail the throne. I want to get to that, that chair. Um, I was not able to participate in the events. I think the, uh, the Batmobile and the other, the glider event, I was like too new. One of them I, was before I started playing. The other one I was too new to be able to uh, acquire the, uh, the item. At the end of turn, grant four random allies, five that's recover for three turns. Ooh, do we want to recover or do we want to not exceed 10% of max health? I think because my tank is going to be taking so much, I think that's the better move here. I'm not sure. Um, it really kind of depends on what we end up facing. Uh, is the recover actually the better call? I, I don't know. I think that you can make it through it no matter which ones you choose, depending on your lineup. Um, there are obvious algorithms that are better uh, depending on uh, what you're going to be facing and also who you're using. If I had you know, Bane and a, a support heavy team, I would definitely go with the, uh, the support one. Shopping once again. Running out of the uh, chance to buy these things. I could just buy them up, but I want to wait to see just exactly how many do we have to buy. Because this is the, we're getting near the end of the spiral. We're halfway through the last round. Oh, he gives flowers to himself. Back and forth. Pretty neat. Kung, 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 kung. Ooh, froze our green arrow. No bueno. Luckily, whoever drops first, it's not the end of the world. We don't mind Mr. Freeze being frozen. He actually likes to freeze himself quite regularly. And Firestorm is not a scary character. Probably the worst epic character in the game. Increases lifesteal, increases lifesteal. Well, once again, we're just going to keep adding it to the support character. We definitely want to keep Raven up so that way she can revive whoever I lose. And we're in a good rhythm. So we're just going to keep on going. If you play these as soon as you unlock them, it can be difficult. I think I remember when I was early on, I would try playing that as soon as I unlocked it. And I would could only get like halfway through it and I'd have to come back after I leveled up some more. That's one reason why I've waited to run through these as a video. Because I would like to be able to do it as a single run for content um, as a creator. Um, so I do have to kind of sometimes overshoot the mark. I probably could have gotten this done a lot sooner, um, but to make sure that it's easily doable um, as a creator, because I've got my my Wonder Woman now is what, like 180, where I think this was unlocked when all my heroes were like 140. Um, <laughs> oh, cancel, we got a 
we gotta buy some more hash rate. Okay, so here's where I buy some hash rate. I have 14, I could buy the advanced algorithm, but will I have enough? So let's do some math. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more tiles. We have four more moves. So I definitely am gonna have to buy this last one. We're gonna buy it. Hopefully we earn four more in time that we can buy one of these. Probably gonna maybe grab the reflect for the tank. But I don't have to worry about the hash rate. So you do have to buy all the hash rate if you don't want. Now it's getting hard um, based on the, the power. You do have to buy all the hash rate in order to walk all the way through it. Um, but this was one of the things, maybe I should have bought the, um, the algorithm the buff algorithm which would help me with these next fights and by the uh, hash rate at the end that's my green arrow right <laughs> and we've lost Constantine but we're gonna bring him back to life, so no worries. And as long as we don't lose anyone else, we're in good shape. Okay, pulled it off. Uh, definitely skin in the teeth though, getting close, so it's getting harder. So I may end up having to, okay, take care of the Zerba against five stacks of sturdy armor for five turns. Uh, at the end of turn, I want the energy. I think the tank character can survive the way that he's built. And, okay, there's no tanks in this, but Zatanna's nasty. boy has got a lot of RNG with his special, so we'll see how that goes. Got the speed. We don't like that. And we green arrow holding on by a thread. Oh, and I've lost my tank. So this is this is scary because now that I've revived, I'm not going to be able to revive, revive green arrow if he falls before we finish them off. Okay, it worked out very, very close. I'm not sure if the energy from my supports skill made a difference there. Okay, so I, I have enough now. Re increases reflect at the end of turn detonates all him. So I'm gonna get the reflect for the tank. Not sure if that's the best way to go, but I think that because he's getting hit so often, um, that's going to help do some more damage uh, back to them. Okay. And even though I've been having him go first because he's got a higher chance at crit um, for Green Arrow, he is the weakest of my three AoEs. Um, so with this set up here against greens and reds uh, Deanna Deanna Prince uh, you know Wonder Woman would have been would probably be the better way to go so let me get some energy back here and, oh yeah still no problems as we move through this but I could see if I didn't have the levels I have Okay, increases attack by 50 minutes so we're at the end of turn grants three random amount of three stacks recover so i'm going to take the recover now because my tank doesn't attack if i had like superman that might be a different story all right um and we got flat Ooh, so even with maybe this is the last fight uh, hmm. we'll put deanna in the middle i didn't even think about any of that from before We're gonna move 
green arrow to the back because they are all Dianas. My goodness, the lassos. Oh, brutal. Oh, that is nasty. Do I need to have like some sort of like sacrifice team? Whoa. Toast. That is toast. My goodness. Okay. So I'm going to completely pull. Because the, the one nice thing about this, I'm going to have a sacrifice team. Um, we're just going to have tanks and oh, the, re the green tank is really no good. We're going to have him. Here we go. And supports. So. Tanks and supports to really lean into the, um, the algorithm. Maybe instead of him for support. Do I have another? A lot of green supports. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with Pandora. So this is because this is a sack team. I'm gonna now let's see what's the best. We want him going first. We want Two Face. I think that's how I want it. I don't know. It's a sack team, so we'll see how much of their life. They can lose. Oi, two faces down already. Okay, I'm gonna restart again. I'm gonna pull all the supports. How many extra tanks do I got? My goodness. Is that all I have for tanks? Tank. Because the reflect, I saw how much damage um, the flash took from the reflect. Guess we'll put Canary in. Frankenstein does some decent damage as a tank, but he's probably going to die so fast because he's green. Yeah, so that's perfect. The reflect damage from all the tanks dropped Flash. That's really going to help since this is a sack team. And that that's insane. Uh, I hope you guys are learning with me. That is really cool. Ugh. <laughs> uh. This sack team may end up doing it. Like, I don't have extra damage from tanks. I have I have the extra stuff from the support. My support's down. Um, but yeah, really leaning into the algorithm. So with this particular map, new. I think the Greek Greek letter, the N is called new. N U. Um, now that I'm trying to pull it out of my my reserves. Um, Leading into the algorithms is really, really a good way to go. So we probably could have done this a lot faster, just leading into like a full tank team or a, you know tank support teams, not even having the damagers. Like, my goodness, that was my quote unquote sack team. Yeah, I confirm. I have no choice, but I'm done. We we did it. Okay, that's. That's that one. There you go. So the reflect on the tank was actually a really good move because it helped get rid of those guys. Um, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Ninja, kick that like button if you enjoyed the content. Subscribe for more from me, Conger Live. Um, and that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.